Sammy's a little bit of a mystery. She likes to keep things under wraps. She's a lot cooler than me. She's got a lot of different levels to her, but mostly I think she just wants to, to observe and listen. She doesn't really want to partake. But she's got some secrets that are revealed to you later in the movie, and the biggest one I can't tell you, but you'll just have to see it. And I've had a lot of fun playing this role because she's got all these tattoos on like, even a neck tat, come on. Like, it's so sick. Ugh, I love her. I've loved, and the hair and the makeup. Love this character. It's just kind of who I want to be, is what I'm trying to say. She's who I want to be, and I'm not. It's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on the girl. This band of like misfit kidnappers gets thrown together. None of them know each other and they're just hired for one night, a 24 hour job. They're gonna kidnap this like millionaire's daughter. They don't know who though. And they're just instructed to bring her to this like abandoned house and wait. never done any part like this, I'd never done a character like this um, and I've always loved horror films um, and I just loved Abigail as her character and how she was like basically playing two different people and like the transition from the innocent girl into like this vampire, I just thought it was amazing so I was really really intrigued. No, I don't know, I think of a noisy chain. <laughs> Shaving foam. She's like a little. All right, me. Like, <laughs> um, just giving top tips. It's deliberately playing on what is what are the tropes of a vampire movie. Um, the characters even kind of discuss that in their efforts to figure out what's going on and get out of there. They have to collectively draw on their knowledge of vampires in popular culture to try and defeat this thing. The scariest thing is she's like, oh, I wonder what they'll do if I if I play sweet in this scene, you know, and she just keeps toying with us. She loves the game of it. It's just fun for her. Um, that's what's terrifying. When we were first reading Abigail, it was just clear from the start that that was one of the things that was just like the feature of what was cool about it is that you had this really confident, really tense heist movie and it collides with a monster movie. And I think for us, not only was that kind of a flavor we hadn't seen before, but we'd never really done a heist movie before. And so it was really, I think, creatively exciting for us to kind of do our version. Well, I think Matt and Tyler really love blood. And uh, I was not prepared for the amount of blood. And it looks awesome. Like, I hated how it looked. It was so horrible, so scary looking, but awesome, you know? It was, it's why I'm here. My favorite part of making movies sometimes is that I can get really dirty and then, you know, it's not my clothes. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I think all of the characters are, are monsters in that they've all done bad things and they've all hurt people. And so it's, it's funny to see like a monster taking them all down. Getting to transfer myself into a vampire was like a completely different, you know, mindset and you have to go in, like, you're not just changing to a different person, changing to a different, like, species into a, like, a vampire, so I really just, when I had those scenes where I'm killing everyone and I'm enjoying it, I just had to really get into it and especially, like, all the, the teeth I get to put in and the contacts as well and all the blood, like, it's a completely different person. <laughs> To all intents and purposes, he's sort of the team leader. He's been sort of appointed this by this guy Lambert, who's sort of charged him with running this team. Um, everybody else seems to have a special set of skills. I'm not sure what Frank's is, but he wrangles them all and, and seems to, to, to begin with at least, seems to be the sort of grown up in the group, um, has a little bit of seniority. I mean, there is a version of this script that you could set in any in any time period. You know, for us, there was a there was an opportunity to to not only modernize what a vampire is, but also set the movie in a way that the characters themselves within the film are aware of the other vampire movies. Well, from the very first table read, we all looked at each other and we're just like, well, we're in good hands. Phenomenal. Sweetest little girl you've ever seen, consummate professional, never a complaint, never anything except a smile. I love her. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. And then, okay, well, you need to show us your up there for us. Yeah, just to check. I've done some very bloody movies before. I've been covered in blood a lot. And this is the most that I've ever been covered in blood. I think that speaks to what kind of movie this is. I think also Matt and Tyler love blood. They're always calling for more. Joey just seems to, despite her slightly sort of shady past, um, she seems to have it all together and it's very it's very sort of serious and you know focused in a way that Frank doesn't seem to be and yeah she sort of immediately puts his back up and uh, yeah they, they have this sort of animosity right the way through um, and he's very reluctant to to you know give give up the top spot I think. we saw a bunch of tapes and and Alicia was one of them so when we saw her tape I mean it was it was clear that she was she was amazing and that she was like at the top of the list and then our first zoom with her i think that what you always hope for is that you also see a real kindness and a real curiosity and um it was just it was all there <laughs> <laughs> 